Kunal has founder of Snapdeal, uh, taking a subsidiary of Snapdeal public pretty soon. Uh, but he's got another avatar apart from being an entrepreneur and a founder. Uh, he, through Titan Capital, has invested in about 280 startups. So on this stage, uh, he is the person with the most number of startup investments. 280 is uh, pretty prolific by any standards, although it's taken 13 years to do it. Uh, so Kunal, why, why do you invest and why did you start investing? Yeah, it's a pleasure being here and thank you. Um, I must say that um, Mr. Bhikchandani is actually the reason many of us, or at least I can speak for myself, that I'm here because when I was starting up my journey in 2007, there were literally no role models for entrepreneurship and tech entrepreneurship uh, in India outside of India. A little piece of trivia. Uh, I, I didn't know this, but Kunal told me when he came back to India from the US, he applied to Nokri for a job. Yes. And he was interviewed, and we didn't make him the offer. Is that correct? That's right. That's right. And so he decided to become an entrepreneur. Yeah, I, you know, thank you, I guess. Um, but no, uh, I didn't interview him. If I'd interviewed him, I would have selected him, but he was interviewed by somebody else. <laughs> yeah. So, um, look, uh, it was obviously at a time when we started our business, we, there was nothing known as a startup. Startup only came into national parlance around 2016 or 2015 when the Prime Minister launched Startup India. Back then, in 2007, it was either you ran a business or you did a job. There was nothing known as, the, nobody knew the word startup. And so obviously we've come a long way in this, in this uh, journey in the Indian startup ecosystem. And in the early days, there was no domestic capital. There were like five venture capital firms. Most of the people who actually called themselves angel investors were actually devils, where they would offer 50 lakhs for 60% of the company, which was actually a genuine offer that was made to us as well. And at least the thought uh, my co-founder and business partner Rohit and I had was that if we ever have the op opportunity to and the resources to devote to mentorship and capital to the next generation of startups, we must do that. And we should do that in a fair manner. So in 2011, December, our journey of investing began with a very small check of 30 lakh rupees that we invested in uh, Ola when it was just starting. They were doing five rides a day at that point in time. Back then, the seed round valuations used to be a little more modest, like five or six crore rupees pre-money. Um, and, and that's how our journey started. And we realized that look, we just want to help founders. We are not here to monetize, flip. Uh, and so we, our mindset always is invest uh, very early, be the first money in, and then stay invested for a very long period of time. Like, for instance, Ola, we stayed invested for 12 years in the company and sold our stake only last year. So... But tell me, uh, now people have been talking about funding winter, you know, valuations, contracting, uh, a lot of money, you know, being very, very discerning and careful before investing in early stage companies. What are you seeing now? Are you still investing and is it better or worse? And yeah, so at least our approach has been to be very consistent. We've been investing almost in the same number of companies, 15, 20 companies for 13 years now in a row. We've not had years where we've done you know, 200 investments or anything. So we've been very consistent. I feel that the stage at which we invest, it doesn't really matter whether there is a funding winter going on because the amount of money these companies need, at that point in time, we can provide ourselves. So the funding winter has never deterred us from anything. Um, we just have a very, very long-term view. We think of ourselves not as angel investors, but as early So those are assuming how many companies have gone bust? Um, you know, a few dozen would have gone bust, but more than 50% have raised a subsequent round, which is a pretty high, high ratio. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, 